Okay, so now we've got, we've designated a scribe line, and we've determined, we've identified which tooth on the gear lines up with the scribe line, okay? And we've marked it with a white marker. And that could be before it goes on the mounter, after it comes off the mounter, before it goes in the press, when it goes in the press, or it's always on there, whatever the case may be, all right? We've got that part. Now, you need to just mount all the plates to that line. Okay, so now you have these bare cylinders, you can put the mounting plate on there, all right? So, mount plates to designated horizontal lines on the plate cylinder, okay? So, if this is your plate here, and the register mark, you know, and this is your image area, and we're looking at it down this way, and this is where your register mark is, it's going to line up with that scribe line when you mount the plate around this cylinder, okay? It's going to be marked with that scribe line right there, okay? Now, the plate position determines the tape position. You're not just going to mount the tape on there and then say, well, based on where that cut is, I need to move the plate around that cylinder. Now, you're going to determine where that plate goes, and then whatever criteria or however you mount your mounting tape according to the plate, you're then going to mount your mounting tape after that, once you know where the plate's going to go. So that when you put your tape plate down, it's in the position you want to, and the mounting tape doesn't force you to put it somewhere else. Okay? So now then you align your register marks and you mount that plate on it. Now you've got the assembly. You've got the plate mounted onto the tape correctly. The scribe line on the plate or the marks on the plate line up with the line on the cylinder. Okay? And then the line on the cylinder marks, lines up with the marked gear tooth. So now you've got your assembly correct, all right? Now, now we're going to, you mount, you know, you mount all your cylinders into the press. Take all your cylinders and mount it, right? So here's your CI press. That's your central impression drum. Right? That's what CI stands for, Central Impression, because you got one drum and all that, but that's not what this is about. So let's say you have, for the sake of this discussion, we'll just talk about a four-color CI press. It could be a ten-color, but let's just look at four colors, okay? One, two, three, four, right? So the CI drum is rotating this way, okay, that's the direction of the rotation of that drum. Now, here's what you have to do. You mount that, that plate cylinder in there, okay, this is the, this is the plate cylinder, okay, there's a station number one, alright. Now, when you mount that, carefully jog the machine around until the mark on the gear, all right, the mark, gear mark, mark on gear, until that gear is in mesh with the, uh, the main drive gear of the drum, which we in, uh, we in, uh, you know, we call the bull gear. B-U-L-L -L gear, all right? When it meshes with that bull gear, and I'm not going to draw the gear, just pretend this is a gear, okay? This is the drive gear. When it comes, when it comes here, you're going to use that same stuff that you use, the wide out or whatever, and you're going to mark the gear, okay? You're going to make a mark on that point of the gear. And let me just go with this, even though I know, I know by memory, I want to make sure this list makes sense so that you guys can use it. Uh, all right, so you mesh the first color with the drum, mark the main drive gear on the drum with white out or a similar marker at point where mark tooth on the first color is meshed with the drive gear. Jog the press and align the mark tooth of each gear of remaining plate cylinders to the mark on the drive gear. 
as it reaches each station. You must get this on the first pass. Now, let me go over that. All right. So now you've got this one, the first one marked here, going in this uh, main gear. Now you're going to jog this drum around. And when this mark comes over here, then you rotate this cylinder as you need to so that that mark lines up with that mark, okay? Then you continue to bring this drum around. And when the mark is here, you take this gear and you line it up with that mark while they're in mesh. So everything is staying in mesh now, okay? And you're doing this in one rotation. If you go back around, if you missed any print station, you have to start again at number one. That's very important. You will not get it and come around again and work. And I won't go into why. But you have to get it on the first pass. Now, finally, you bring the drum around slowly. When this mark comes around here, you take the mark on the gear and you mesh it with that right there, okay? So now, let's stop right there. You put it in register here. It's almost like this cylinder printed that mark. It comes around here. So you mount, you put that mark in line right there. The plates should align. You bring it around and you do that. And believe it or not, if you got it right from the plate to the mount to the gear and the mark and you do all that, uh, you'll probably be able to just make adjustments on your knobs and get everything into register when you start the press up and get it into impression. Okay, so let's see what else has to right here. Uh, must get this on first pass. Okay, proceed with setup as usual. Now, you do your thing, get the machine ready, get your ink going, and when you're ready to go, I recommend that the first color you put down is four. Then, you, once you got the good impression, you do three. Once you got a good impression there, you do two. Once you have good impression there, you do one. And the reason for that is if you started with one and then you tried set impression for two, the, 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 the marks from the first station are going to be visible and now you're having trouble seeing only two. Then when you come over here, now you've got two colors already printing and this third color is uh, uh, now when you're putting it down, it's hard to see. By the time you get here, you've got three other colors printing and you're trying to set impression, it's crazy. If you set impression here, you're only looking at one color. When you're setting impression here, even though that one's printing, you're only seeing this color. Then you set impression here, you're only going to see this color, not those. And then you set impression here, and you only see the color uh, of the press one station. So set up from station 4, 3, 2, 1, or 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, or 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, however many stations you have. All right? That's it. So I hope this helped you guys. If you have any questions about this, don't hesitate to email me or actually better, put it uh, in the comments over here, down here on Ugly Flexo, or put it on the bulletin board because I'm getting a lot of emails privately and I want everybody to benefit from all of these questions that I'm getting instead of just private emails. I don't mind the private emails, but if there's qu there are questions that we can share with the rest of the world, I'd really allow, allow, prefer it if you make it public so that everybody can benefit from it, okay? So thanks for your time, I hope this helps, and I look forward to getting some more videos cranked up on, on cranked out up here on uh, Ugly Flexo. So take care, guys.